The Catholic Church may canonize its first black American saint. Henriette DeLille was born in New Orleans more than 200 years ago. She founded the Sisters of the Holy Families in New Orleans, a religious group dedicated to educating the black community. Candida Moss is a theology professor at the University of Notre Dame, and you join us now. So tell us about Henriette. So Henriette, who people really didn't know about for a long time, was a French-speaking Creole woman born in New Orleans. She lived under the system of placage, which meant that she was in a kind of common law marriage with a white male. And she had two sons who both died before the age of three. And then when she was 24, she had this religious conversion and she founded this order of the Holy Family. And what's interesting about Henriette is that she wasn't just someone who was very Catholic and not aware of her racial identity. Her parents and her siblings actually registered themselves as white on the census because they were light-skinned and could pass. But Henriette wouldn't do that. She registered as a free woman of color. And as a result, she made it impossible for herself to join the numerous female orders that only really allowed admittance to white women. Mm -hmm. And so she had to found her own order. So this is a saint who is interested in her racial identity. It's not incidental for her. It's part of who she is, and it's what the church will be recognizing. Mm. That is fascinating. So explain the path of sainthood. What needs to happen for her to be a saint. Right, so it's a long and arduous process. What happens first is you have the local bishop uh, start the investigation into their life and they amass thousands of pages of documents proving that this was a holy person who never said anything heretical, who, who was a good person, as you might expect. When that happens, he submits a kind of dossier to the Vatican and she takes on this servant of God status. When they review it, then often the Pope will declare that person venerable. And now we need miracles. Mm. You need two miracles to be canonized or recognized as a saint in the Catholic Church. And if you only have one, you're called blessed. And then when you get that second one, you're canonized as a saint. So what were her miracles? Well, so far her miracles haven't been recognized, but there are two that people are talking about in particular, one in Texas and one in Arkansas, which just shows how far yeah. her fame has spread. Wow. And those miracles, they involve a four-year-old who miraculously recovered and a college student um, whose organs were shutting down. They're both healing miracles. Wow, mm. that's incredible. Yeah. So what makes her, and people are fascinated by her, you pointed out that she, her racial identity was very much a part of who she was and she wanted the world to know that but what makes her different from the other five African American uh, five African Americans that are being considered for sainthood well I think what's interesting is we do have right now a cluster of US born um, African, of African descent um, candidates for the sainthood who are all coming up around the same time, which shows that the church is recognizing this. What sets her apart is that she's in the deep south. Ah, We're talking about right. someone founding a religious order in the decades before the Civil War. That's a remarkable and dangerous thing to do because at the time when she's educating slaves in Louisiana, that's illegal. She could have been arrested and imprisoned, possibly even executed. Uh, at the very least, she sounds like an incredibly interesting, accomplished woman, and who knows, maybe a saint. Yeah, have there been books written about her? I mean, it's, it's just interesting because I don't know that a lot of people would know about her yeah. if that, this wasn't the big news of the day. That's absolutely right. She had to be sort of rediscovered by yeah. local historians in New Orleans. There have been academic books written about her. There was actually a Lifetime movie starring Vanessa Williams. Wow. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, we'll be Googling that, exactly. I think. Exactly, <laughs> absolutely. Well. Candida Moss, thank you so much. Thank you.